What's up everybody? Merry Christmas, happy holidays. You know, the whole thing. I have a little, wait, look. Can you hear it? It jingles. I also have a cat with me. He's so sleepy. I don't think that his face is in here, but he's just so sleepy. And I love, you can see his little elbow. Oh, sorry. He doesn't love that I do that. So good. Anyways, um, Christmas, holidays, it's a gift giving season. Um, and I personally, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think I'm pretty good at giving gifts, but also I just really enjoy doing that. I think it's a really nice way to show my appreciation and love for people. And so I thought I would impart my wisdom upon all of you because I finally finished shopping for this year. Um, so yeah, I broke it down based on categories and hopefully this is helpful for you. You all know that I love my animals. I love my cats and we have three. Uh, we've rescued all of them though. And so that's where the sponsor of this video and the first gift that I'm recommending, Base Paws comes in. So Base Paws is the most comprehensive cat DNA test. It's an at home cat genetics test and it's non-invasive, it's vet recommended. It'll tell you things like breed composition. It makes early genetic disease detection possible. It actually tests for over a hundred markers to better understand your cat's health and to be on the lookout for anything your cat might be pre disposed to. Plus, you get to find out if your cat shares similar genes to certain breeds. The kit comes with everything that you need in the box and it gives you very, very clear instructions in there. The actual test is super, super easy to use and when you collect the sample, it's non-invasive. It's not like you have to do anything overly uncomfortable. All you have to do is just swab the inside of your cat's cheek moving the cap, putting the swab in, transporting it. And then the best part, I mean, there's a lot of good parts, but something that makes it really easy is that you just put it together and then it already has the postage on it. I'm not gonna show you guys our postage because I don't wanna show you the tracking number because we're gonna be sending ours in. So you literally just do this. I would probably put some tape on it and then send it out and then your results will be back in anywhere from like six to eight weeks. And then once they have the results, they get another gift, which is they get to see the results and um, find out more about their cats. So this is an example from their website of the digital report for the Base Paws cat DNA test. You'll learn about some of the uh, genes and mutations that's responsible for the way that your cat looks, which I think is exciting because I think that we have really cute cats and I wanna know, like, what's the deal? Why are they so cute? You can answer that question. Why are my cats so cute? I feel like I ask them that all the time. So if you are as excited about Base Paws as I am and you know someone in your life who loves their animals, loves their cats, or maybe you just wanna get it as a gift for yourself, you can go down in the description and there's a link. Actually, there'll be links to everything that I mentioned in today's video down, um, down in the description, but there will also be a link to purchase Base Paws. And I also have a discount code for you guys. So it's just put my full name, no space, Sydney Goodman, S-Y-D-N-E-E, -E, Goodman. And you can use that at checkout for a discount. So enjoy. So an honorable mention are lick mats. I ordered some from a business called the BK Shop. Um, they have them for dogs, cats, different sizes. I got three for our cats. And then I like to get gifts for people's pets. Uh, so I got my parents' dog and my brother and his girlfriend's dog um, some lick mats. And if you don't know what a lick mat is, they have a bunch of information on the website of the best way to use them. But more or less, you just put like peanut butter, just like pet safe food in there and it controls how fast they're eating it, but also they have to think a little bit harder to eat it. So it's like, in, I think it's called enrichment for animals. Um, and I'm really excited for our cats to try it. My parents are so hard to buy gifts for because you know, they are just doing their thing. When they want something, they just go buy it. And most of the things that they haven't just bought themselves are way too expensive for me to buy them. And I don't think they'd expect me to buy it for them. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm really excited because my mom has become obsessed with charcuterie boards and I wanted to get her something that plays into that. Um, and so I got her a subscription to, it's called Cheese Pairing 101 Club. I only did four months because it is pretty pricey, but I figured it's kind of a gift for both my mom and my dad. Um, but they send you cheese and then something that pairs with it. So kind of think of if you've ever had like a bite of cheese and then you put some of the like fig jam on it and it's like, ooh, wow, sophisticated, delicious. And your taste buds are just like, 
you know? I printed out the little certificate that they have on their website and um, backed it with card, cardstock, construction paper, whatever. And then um, I got her a little cheese board, like serving platter from Crate and Barrel. And so I figured I'll put that on there and then give it to her on Christmas. This guy is fancy as, you fill in the blank there. Um, it is a carafe, carafe. I don't even know how to say it. That's how fancy it is. But it's something that seems really sophisticated and I think is really thoughtful because it's one of those things that's for somebody who, you know, like you just don't know what to get them and they're just kind of like really chic and, um, but it's not like you're just getting them a candle. You know, like the, the whole thing about people just get each other candles. I think that this is like a better version of the candle kind of, it's also a little bit more expensive, but I'm trying to avoid calling it a carafe. Carafe, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but um, it's really nice. You can put it on your bedside table, fill it up with water. And then when you want like a sip of water in the middle of the night, you know, you wake up, you're parched and it's just time to take a sip, you know, hydrate your vocal cords. Well, I guess you're not talking. Hyd it's time to hydrate. It's the middle of the night. Just stay with me, okay? And um, then you can just like pour it in there, take a sip. It also doubles as a vase. I would use it as a base. Yeah, I love it. I think the whole website has like, there's a ton of different colors. I think the color that I got is sold out, but um, they have a ton of different colors on there. And uh, they also just have a lot of really cool things on that website. So if you don't want to get somebody a craft, then I don't know, maybe you can peruse the website and see if there's anything that stands out to you. Next up is a Roku stick. I feel like I previously was kind of just like, well, what the heck is Roku? Why do I keep hearing it everywhere? It's because it's kind of the best. So we use our Roku stick all the time. We bring it with us whenever we travel and you can just plug it into like the hotel TV. You're just traveling, you're on the road and the hotel TV like doesn't have Netflix or just doesn't have anything going for it. Honey, all you gotta do, it's basically a stick that plugs into like H the HDMI slot. And then you can have Netflix, you can stream basically like whatever. It has Apple TV in there, um, Disney Plus, Hulu, just like a ton of different options. And this gift is super affordable. So I feel like it's really good for white elephants. It's really good for, I mean, fill in the blank. I've literally, I've gifted this to so many different people. Um, but yeah, it's pretty to the point. The streaming stick plus. So this one is a little bit of a choose your own adventure situation. You could just buy this scanner. It's a film scanner. It's called the Kodak Scanza digital film scanner. And you could just get the scanner, give it to somebody as a gift, really great gift. Or you could get the scanner for yourself and then scan your family's negatives and um, digitize your family's like film library. I did that for video last year and then this year I'm doing it for for our family photos. So I mean I guess that's dependent on if your family keeps the negatives but mine did and so I have been digitizing them and it's just a really sweet gift. I mean like it's a it, I think it's just great in general. I mean I'm not gonna not gonna bore you with my my philosophies on preservation for this kind of stuff, but it is quite the privilege that we live in a time that we are able to preserve things like that. Um, and I feel like if nobody in my family is gonna do it, so I might as well be the one. It's really, really easy to do. All you need is are those negatives, like I was saying, and then you just stick them in the cartridge that comes with it, put it in there. You're able to take, you basically are like taking a picture of the scan so you put the cartridge in and then you just press that button and then it saves the photo. And the photos, I mean, come on, let's be real. It's not gonna be like HD quality, but they do look pretty good and you can, you know, go and Photoshop, tinker with it. Or in the actual, like, it has the capability to like up the brightness and kind of play with like red, the reds, the blues, the greens, um, lower the brightness, etc., so that you can you know, get some good scans. And so when I gift gift for Alex, one of those I like to get him like a big, like a thing. And then another is an experience. And um, this time around I'm gifting him an experience. 
Unfortunately, this gift idea is only if you're in the LA area, the greater Los Angeles area, or I guess they have one in Atlanta, but it's called the Porsche Experience Center. And um, it they have a couple different options, like you can pay to ride with the driver, but in this case, I'm looking at getting Alex, like, I don't know what it's called, but basically he'll drive with like a coach in one of their cars and gets to just like mess around on the track. And the track has like a bunch of different unique features that he gets to play around in. Um, Alex loves cars. I feel like the fact that you get to just drive on this like track is a very unique experience. Um, I think he'll love it. You can choose from, you know, their fleet. Um, the prices vary, but, um, it's really fun and my brother and my dad actually have both done it at this LA one and they said it was really great so I think he'll love it. So I hope that you know you found those helpful. I'm so excited for Christmas and to give everybody their gifts. It's funny because I feel like as you get older you know when you're a kid obviously like yeah give me gifts but the older that I've gotten I actually get more excited about people opening the gifts that they that I give them. Um, so I'm excited for everybody to, you know, open the gifts that I give them, which is what I just said. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.